We're back at Home Goods today. It has been a while since I, well, it's been like a month, <laughs> but I have the itch. I just need to get in here. I need to see if there's anything new. I'm glad I took a little bit of a break to hopefully see some new items, but I got the itch. So let's get in here. Let's see what's new at Home Goods. The first thing I noticed were these David planters. You can put a little plant on top. These are $29.99. They're in this like sage green. This one's actually a little more blue, but these are so pretty. I just ordered a rug on Amazon, but I kind of want to replace the rug in our bedroom. So I thought I would come. Ooh, I like this green. $2.99 for a eight by 10. Okay, let me push it up so I can show you. That is beautiful. It's in like this really good green. I'm not, it's not like a sage green. It's like a true green, but Oh, that's gorgeous. I love the muted and tiny bit of detail, like understated detail. Stunning. I like this scalloped lampshade. I love this Ralph Lauren lamp for $129. It's very big in scale, but this one, this little Kate Spade $39.99, it's not a mini, but it's not very big. It just feels very sophisticated. I really like that. Here it is with the, the bulb turned off. Do you guys like black lampshades? I don't know if I like the effect when the lamp or the, when the bulb's on, I'm not sure about it. Let me know what you think. Oh, and they do have some good task lights too. This one, and then I did notice this one behind me, this one. I love like this extra weighted effect. Very pretty. Okay, hear me out. In a very masculine office, these lamps with these horses could look so cool. But it has to be done right with like plaid and leathers, you know what I mean? But I think those could be really cool. They have some good, wait, what is this one? Oh, look at that, $59.99. Oh, can you see? Oh yeah, there we go. Hmm, very cool. And then these ones were $79.99 each. And the, it's like a suede lampshade. This espresso mirror, $129.99. And this like espresso wood with the arched or curved top. I like that. Or walnut, it's walnut. Very beautiful, look at that. So pretty. I've noticed they have some little minis. So if you need a little mini for your like kitchen or, you know, any little space that needs a mini lamp, $12.99. And these are really, I like the quality of these. A lot of them are really, really nice. This marble one, $59.99, very sleek. I like that. Okay, very different from what I normally go for, but look at how cute this is. I love it. $29.99. It's a little bit bigger than a mini, but oh my gosh, this is so sweet. I could see this in so many like cute little cottage spaces. Or you could change the shade out and then you get a little bit more of that organic look with this base. This base is so good. That huge granite or marble bowl down there, $2.50. And then I like this pot with the... the detail on that that's really cool very unique and very different they have tons of pots right now i've noticed in all different tones and textures such good pots actually i feel like lately they've they have had a lot of good pots this pot i currently have on my coffee table i love it it's very feels very um like a genuine old clay pot but it's not and then they have Tons of other ones. One right here with like a little bit of that two tone. Really good. I love these little forks and cheese knives. They're so pretty. Nine ninety nine. I think these were seven ninety nine. Yeah, so pretty. Those. These ones are nice too. The gold, twelve ninety nine. Very pretty. I think every home needs a set of these cut crystal glasses. I have them on my Amazon, but they're way better price here, $7.99. They just sparkle so beautifully. And whether you make mocktails, drink water out of them, make a cocktail, I just love these. And obviously you can get them in higher quality, but you can get a really good price here. I like this brand actually. 
RCR. It's a good brand. I'm gonna always love busts, I think. And I do find them from time to time here, $16.99. Better price than the one I just got on Amazon of the little miniature man, but the quality isn't as good, but you know. Oh wait, look at these. $12.99, they look like they're hand carved. Those are cute for like a little entry, $16.99. I can't wait to decorate a little office with like fun little things like this. I just love it. This thing is heavy. It's really pretty. I was just about to leave and then I spotted this. I think this is so cool. Usually, I don't think I've ever seen them in like a wicker. These uh, ice buckets in this wicker. This $29.99. Oh, that's classy. I love that. Wish I had a spot <laughs> or I could throw a little party. Put some drinks in there. These ones are pretty too. So normally I see them like this in this galvanized kind of metal. And then these are cool. They have extra little wood detail, but these I just think are beautiful. Ooh, $34.99 for this piece. This is different. I like this. I like the shape. These are such a cute little gift idea. $10 you get a little strainer and like all the ingredients. How cute. Okay, I found this hamper. Of course, it's in the stripe. Thirty nine ninety nine with these little wheels. Hold on, I need to. I need to bring this down. Okay, I like this. This is like so my vibe. I like that it doesn't have the stripe on the outside. It kind of makes it feel. I don't know, more handmade. And the little wheels. This is adorable. I love that. Oh wait, I love that. I didn't see this side. This just unsold me. I love it. I love it. I love it. Except I can't do that. Mm, dang it. It's so cute otherwise. This is one of my favorite sections. Look at this little telescope. This is so sweet. I really love it. It kind of doesn't feel like the best quality though, if I'm being honest. But they have tons. Like, look at these too. I, oh, these are heavy. Whoa, wasn't expecting that. I thought it was gonna be more like paper mache. $24.99 and this one is $29.99. I love that. I feel like these are more of those like more one of a kind pieces you see at Home Goods. Oh, these are so good. I really like those. Also this piece right next to it is like the other one I just showed you, $34.99, but it's shorter. They're heavy. I'm so surprised. I was not expecting that. And then they come in like this shape. And they're like in this espresso brown. I don't like those. Okay, wait. I think this is the one I saw in the last Home Goods video I did. Something similar. $24.99. Look at that with the little notches. Okay. I really like those. But I don't need any decor right now. And then I did find these little bowls. Oh, and that bowl. Okay, they have quite a few. This one's like a very shallow bowl. And then another one of those with the notches. I love them. And by one of a kind, I mean like more unique, more special pieces. I feel like Home Goods has like these sort of pieces that they have a few and you don't see them a ton is, but maybe not one of a kind. You know what I mean? This one with the stripe too, I think in the right home could look super cool. I'm gonna try these. $29.99, again, heavier. And then these metal, or metal, marble bowls. I'm not so much into like the blue gray hue marble, but for some spaces, it's really pretty. I also love these marble trays. I don't know how much, let me see if I can figure it out. Just love that extra detail. Uh, $29.99, not bad. Love those. These again, frosted balls, $24.99. In our next outdoor space, I want more terracotta pots like this, $34.99. I just think they're so timeless. I love, love them. I love these chairs. I don't love the table. I love the chairs. I wish they were black. These black metal chairs. Hi. Oh, wait. Maybe I can look and see if they have these online. 
but I'm not in love with the like these painted black up next to it like a vintage table outdoors would be really pretty I don't hate this color I just would prefer it in black I think having stuff on a cart like this is the best marketing <laughs> tip because you always want to look on here and see oh what's coming out what's not out what's coming I need to look He's a little banged up, but look at this little sweetie. Or maybe he's meant to be banged up. So tiny, so cute, $6.99. I don't think I've ever seen one of these pattern rugs, rugs like this, $2.99, eight by 10, in a brown. <gasps> I'm falling in love with brown all over again. Look at how beautiful this is, eight by 10. Oh, I like this, I like this. Another thing I noticed were these ottomans. They're $79.99. They have two. They have one here and one up there at the end of a bed. I think these would be really pretty. Or like next to a linen chair. Just kind of break up the materials. But this, kind of like how this is. Imagine a chair. I kind of like that. It's pretty. Didn't find anything from Home Goods yesterday. At least nothing that I couldn't live without. There was a lot of cute things. I love the bowls. I loved those two rugs. I loved the laundry hamper, but nothing that was like, I need that. However, they were cute and they were tempting. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like I didn't need anything. You know what I mean? I'm announcing my art drop. I kind of already did in the community tab, but if you didn't see that, I am dropping my little mini, mostly landscape art drop this Thursday, June 27th. I'm kind of freaking out because I just did my abstract drop at a local, a home decor store and it went so well which i want to say i am so incredibly thankful for you guys here on the channel whether you watch the videos whether you shop through the links all all of the support buying my art there were a few of you that bought the art that i dropped the little pieces that i've been dropping over at the home decor store which i share over on instagram mostly i am just I don't know, stepping out of my comfort zone and, and I just feel so incredibly thankful for you guys and so grateful. So this drop's gonna be a little bit different. Zach and I are gonna upload each piece over on Etsy. That way there's a link and you can just purchase it and we're gonna be boxing them up ourselves and sending them to you, which is so exciting. So I have 10 pieces and I figured I would just show you all 10 pieces real quick. I have been incredibly inspired by kind of like a watery landscape. I don't know what it is, I just really love it. I think it's just like me being from Oregon just makes me inspired by these pieces. So I have a few of these. Okay, so this is the first one. We're still working on the price. However, once obviously we get it all uploaded, everything's gonna be there. You can see all the details but I have a few of these little landscapes. I love these. Like I said, I just have been incredibly inspired to paint these and I just really, really love the way that these turn out and they're so cute. So these are tiny, as you can see me holding them. I think they're like a four by four. So I think these could be displayed so many different ways. You can frame them or get them framed you can uh, put them on these little plate displays, which I will show you on this next piece, which is probably the one that I think a lot of you, you guys have showed interest in, is my fig piece. So this one's going up, but if you put these little plate uh, pieces on here, then you can hang them up on your wall, just like this. So there's that option or a little easel and you can put it on a little easel and have it on your bedside or your you know console kitchen whatever so i have the the fig going up <laughs> i'm so excited i'm nervous but i i'm excited this has been a long time coming and i only have 10 pieces because these take me so long to paint they're so detailed and they just they take so long they have, i usually let them dry before adding other layers so also, if it goes well, I will do this again in the future if you guys are liking this. And then I have another little landscape. They're very, very similar. So I just have, like I said, been super inspired by the landscapes. I have two more. And then I have, oh no, I do, I have one more with a little bit of flowers. So cute. 
And then I painted this little, I was watching some, uh, I forget what it's called. I think it's called Renovating My Chateau or Renovating Chateau on YouTube. And I felt really inspired to paint like a little chateau. It's like a little tiny house, but I loved this one with the little florals. So I have that one. And then the next two, I'm not gonna lie. These ones are gonna be hard to let go because these ones took me so long to paint. I mean, these are incredibly detailed. And that is, one is the Louvre. I love this one. Ugh. So I took a photo on my film camera when we were in Paris of the Louvre and I painted it. So that is, like I painted that photo version <laughs> on, on oil. And these are all oil paintings. And then of uh, San Juan Capistrano. So this is in California, in San Juan Capistrano. It's an old mission there that you can actually go visit. It's so beautiful. Same thing, I took a photo there and painted it. And it's just one of my favorites. So I felt like it needed to be displayed in someone's home because they're just, they're sitting in my little box right now and I don't have them out on display and they're, they really are just little sweet pieces. So these ones I think are a two by, th or oh, three by five. These are a three by five. So they are small, but I mean, they're very incredibly detailed. And like I said, you can absolutely get these framed. But then the last one is a little bit bigger. And I just felt like this one, this is like the, the one. It's gonna be framed in this square frame with this linen backdrop. I haven't secured it yet but this is the only one that is coming framed this time. Like I said, if this goes good and you guys enjoyed these, then I will absolutely do it again, but I'm just gonna kind of wait to see your guys' response and like how, how it goes before I commit to another one. But I cannot believe I'm doing this. This is, like I said, has been so crazy. It just doesn't feel real, but also because I just did that drop at B5 and the drop of the barware, I feel incredibly supported. So thank you guys for all of your support and all of your love. Like I said, whether it's supporting the art or watching the channel, I just feel incredibly blessed and happy. I feel so happy. So anyway, so the art is dropping this Thursday, June 27th at 12 p.m. Arizona time. I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm excited, I'm so happy, I'm grateful, and I'm freaking out. <laughs> anyway, I will update you guys again over on the community tab, just to give you guys a little bit of a reminder, but I hope that you like these pieces, and I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye. I would say we were good together.